So hole seven is 362 yards. So then fairway narrows a little bit as you go up towards this hole. Um, so if you're playing strategically, you might want to take a, a shorter club, maybe a three wood or a two iron. But I'm going to try and just get as close to the green as I possibly can and just leave myself a little pitch up. Just shy of the tee box, I think, up there. I'll head it right up over this tee box, and then the pin is up there. I haven't me measured the yardage yet, but I'm guessing, and guessing it's around sort of about 90 yards, but right up hills. We could be looking at about a 52 degree wedge, I would have said. And it's not the nicest little eyes. That foot up. Like that. Thought it might. So now we are looking at 67 yards up to an elevated green. I need to be making this up and down for par now. It's a nice soft 58. That has come flying out. Sit a little bit. So again here, just looking to limit the damage really in two putt for a bogey, move on to the next. Plenty of birdie holes left. This one to me, I mean, this just looks dead straight, but downhill. And that has gone miles, right? That's poor. So just a little bit of a misread there. So a little bit, it was actually quite a big misread. <laughs> now we're just looking at firm and left edge, maybe just outside left edge. Hole eight is 421 yards, straight up a very, very big hill. There's about probably over 100 foot in elevation going up here. So drive it up here every day. Tee up on the left-hand side of the tee box.
So we've got 72 yards massively up the hill. I'm gonna hit, I'll probably hit a 58 still, pretty solid one. Go a little bit. Oh, I think he's just short. Maybe he could have gone with a 54, it was a little bit chunky. So pretty basic chip left here. Should really be reading these ones, reading the green and trying to trying to hold it. So just finishing the front nine and then starting the back nine, we are on this massively elevated hole on the 10th hole, which is 341 yards. Straight down the hill, it's about, it's gotta be at least a 250, 300 foot drop in elevation. So it's definitely drivable in the summer. In the winter at the moment, whilst it's soft, I'm not sure, but I shall give it a go. If anything is going to reach, it's that. Come left a little bit. I've got about seven foot of green to work with. Obviously this bunker to get over, there's a branch coming off this tree, which you've just got to be a little bit careful of. So I'm just going to open myself up a bit. Nice, nice smooth. Slow swing and just land it softly, hopefully land it softly on the green. Or do that and put it in a bunker. And now we've done the same old thing of turning a easy birdie hole into a scramble for par. Delicate one this. Been that just rolled out. Now we've got a little testy 10 footer for par. So I do believe we've got this to stay one under par. Immediately looking at this one, obviously straight up the hill, and probably a good four or five inches of right to left break on it, maybe even more. We've got about five inches outside right up the hill. And completely misread it. So here we've got 168 yards right up the hill. Again, got about a six iron here. Wind off the left. I'm gonna aim at the pin and just try and draw it back into the wind. Six, I think normally it'd be a little bit long, but as I'm drawing it back into, it should be just about right. <laughs> pin on the left hand side of the green, I think there. Oh, 
toe slappy. Go. Well, sure. Another up and down needed. We've been up to have a look there, and we've got about eight foot of green to work with. Straight up the hill. That looks pretty good. I think I'll be giving myself that one for a nice up and down part. So we've got a massive drop here again, this hole playing at 182, um, about 172 from the tees are off here. I mean, it's such a big drop in elevation, normally that would probably be about a, a 7 iron for me. But down here, probably, I mean we're looking at probably a 9 iron, playing so downhill. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it could be a little bit more. I'm going to go with an eight, you know. I'm thinking normally maybe it'll play with a six. Let's go for an eight. I think it's a two club, two club drop. Because of the elevation up here. They're just starting it off that, over that first tree of that clump over there. I'm letting the wind bring it back. Now, if it's enough, that should be perfect. Oh! Play it as it lies, or what? What are we doing? Right, so this to get back to one under. So looking at this, just turning right to left at the end, about three foot before the hole. Again, slightly downhill. Done it. Back to one. Um, 